Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Connor Ballone here, and today we're going to be talking more about the Pokemon vs. It's a Gundam situation, and actually this whole situation got got so big to the point that uh, Phil DeFranco even talked about it, but um, uh, you see, here's the problem, well, as you can see from the title of Gundam's video, he omitted Gundam's name and got what this whole situation wrong. Now, Keep note, this man has a team of, what, 18 people working around, working with him all, at all times? And uh, wouldn't it have been just easy to watch the video for like tw 10 minutes, minutes before making the story? But, nah, along with not talking about Gundam's name or anything, but anyway, here's a clip. Recently, she uh, accidentally... Oh, shit. To this story, there was a video that she was not a... A video that took aim at her that she described as essentially 20 minutes of just calling her a fun. Nice! She said this about the brand. If I ever see you in my inbox, on site. Like, you could do that just about ever. I'm sorry, I had to, I, I'm sorry, but you already noticed, so we don't need to actually hear it. Nice! <laughs> you really want to put my logo on that one? I want to get better at it, and you just to get to this. <laughs> Now, here's the interesting thing. Now, let me just go up here. You see, you see, Conrad, here in the, Conor, here in this channel, well, we like to criticize people, people under the basis of when they fuck up, we hope that if we criticize them, call them out. And we don't mean anything negative by it, but we hope that with this criticism, they can grow and become better people. Now, here's the thing. Gundam has an email address for business and course. Basically, easy peasy shit. Now, let's go to Twitter. I'm sure he has an, has a, has an email on Twitter, too. To see. Let's check it out. Check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Ow, ow, ow. Ah, shit. Shit. No, gun them. Damn it, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I wonder what gun unit that is. Could be the same one as this. I mean. Okay. You all know I'm not. You know I'm. No fan of Amy, so I don't even know why you guys even are, even are asking, questioning why I'm interested in this. It's just I haven't, I haven't not watched any Gundam Mecha anime. Does anyone know any good ones though? I'm, I'm asking off to be here. But anyway, I guess you can easily go to here, call them up, and boom, boom. I'm sure Gundam would have responded pretty easily, especially when legit you didn't even ask him. But not only that. I mean, I mean, sure, Philip DeFranco's probably small. What the fuck? I, I honestly wish I could pretend that this shocks me, but it doesn't. I kind of find it funny that this man didn't even give a fuck enough, enough, nor did his fucking team, to actually give some fucking context for fucking Gundam. Or ask him, or ask him for any info. Info. But rather, just, just, just paraphrase it. Make Pokemon the innocent, the, 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 somewhat the victim here, victim here, and Gundam is the bad guy, right? <laughs> yeah, a guy who wore, what, what was that, what was that, what was that, what was that, what was that shirt again? What was that sh shirt, like, what was it, what, what, the, what had, what the shirt, what, 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 what did the shirt have on it? Like, let me just... Facts matters. Huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I love how that shirt literally is not bullshit. But then again, uh, only having 1% of what's happened is what matters. See, especially if you can twist it in there to make Gundam look at the bad person. Along with that, hiding his name because uh, it doesn't fit your YouTube algorithm. Right? It doesn't fit your family-friendly views. This is why I fucking love Gundam. Unlike other people who think they can act, 
they can pull it off. Gonna be, it actually at least makes it funny. And we all know they're actual jokes and not person act meaning every single shit they say. Say. But legit. Congratulations, Billy D. Proof once again why. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's actually this one joke that I think I made. Like, it was a very good one, like right here. Like, let's uh, let's play it. Let's play it right here. For DeFranco News Now to come. Scoo, where's DeFranco News Now, Stewie? <laughs> hmm. It's been two years. I'm sure it's on the way. <laughs> We're never getting yeah. I don't even know what DeFranco News now, now is, but I'm guessing it's something supposed to happen, but never did. But anyway... Yeah, pretty much. Philip DeFranco won. You should have asked on him, on him for what was going on. And next time, whenever you're about to run a story, make sure you at least get both parties' parties his take on what was going on, and have a and have your news team at least look up the videos in question before for running your mouth as if you know what it is. It is. It's this is your boy, Carnival Alone, signing off. Peace.